Due to our scientific understanding of the physical world, many of the older ideas we had about the causes and effects of total solar eclipses have been replaced by detailed physical explanations. Nevertheless, some older ideas seem remarkably resistant to replacement by the more scientifically correct explanations. Here are a few of the most popular ones. The most common myth is that the total solar eclipses produce harmful rays that can cause blindness. During a total solar eclipse when the disk of the moon fully covers the sun, the brilliant corona emits only electromagnetic radiation, though sometimes with a greenish hue. Scientists have studied this radiation for centuries. Being a million times fainter than the light from the sun itself, there is nothing in the coronal light that could cross 150 million kilometers of space, penetrate our dense atmosphere, and cause blindness. However, if you watch the sun before totality, you will catch a glimpse of the brilliant solar surface, and this can cause retinal damage, though the typical human instinctual response is to quickly look away before any severe damage has actually occurred. Second, most popular myth is that if you are pregnant, you should not watch an eclipse because it can harm your baby. This is related to the previous false idea that harmful radiations are emitted during a total solar eclipse. Although the electromagnetic radiation from the corona seen as light is perfectly safe, there is another form of radiation that travels to Earth from the sun. Deep in the solar interior, where nuclear fusion takes place to light the sun, particles called neutrinos are born and zip unimpeded out of the sun and into space. They also pass through the solid body of the moon during the eclipse and a second or so later reach Earth and pass through it too. Every second, your body is pelted by trillions of these neutrinos, no matter if the sun is above or below the horizon. The only consequence is that every few minutes a few atoms in your body are transmuted into a different isotope by absorbing a neutrino. This is an entirely harmless effect and would not harm you, or if you are pregnant, the developing fetus. Another very popular misconception is that eclipses will poison any food that is prepared during the event. Related to the false idea of harmful solar rays is that during a total solar eclipse, some kind of radiation is produced that will harm your food. If that were the case, the same radiations would harm the food in your pantry or crops in the field. The basic idea is that total solar eclipses are terrifying and their ghostly green coronae look frightening, so it is natural to want to make up fearful stories about them and look for coincidences among events around you. If someone is accidentally food poisoned with potato salad during an eclipse, some might argue that the event was related to the eclipse itself even though hundreds of other people at the same location were not at all affected. Next misconception is that eclipses are harbingers of something very bad about to happen. A classic case of what psychologists call confirmation bias is that we tend to remember all the occasions when two things happen together, but forget all of the other times when they did not. This gives us a biased view of causes and effects that we remember easily because the human brain is predisposed to looking for and remembering patterns that can be used as survival rules of thumb. Total solar eclipses are not often recorded in the historical record, but they do tend to be recorded when they coincide with other historical events. For example, in 763 BC, early Assyrian records mention an eclipse in the same passage as an insurrection in the city of Asher, now known as Kalat Shirkat in Iraq, suggesting that the ancient people linked the two in their minds. Or when King Henry of Famond of England, the son of William the Conqueror, died in AD 1133, the event coincided with a total solar eclipse. With a little work, you can also find numerous cases when something good happened. Another misconception among people is that solar eclipses foretell major life changes and events about to happen. This is a common interpretation found in astrological forecasts, which are themselves based upon coincidences and non-scientific beliefs 
in how celestial events control human behavior. A common qualification is that if the eclipse doesn't foretell a change in your life, it may foretell a change in that of your friends. This is a logically flawed, used of confirmation bias, in which you prove a cause and effect relationship by ignoring failures and only consider successful forecasts. There is nothing other than human psychology that connects eclipses with future events in your life. Last myth regarding solar eclipses is if eclipse happens six months after your birthday or on your birthday are a sign of impending bad health. This is a common belief among astrologers and once again is only supported by confirmation bias. There is no physical relationship between a total solar eclipse and your health any more than there is a relationship between your health and a new moon. Among a random sample of people, you may find such correlations from time to time, but they are outnumbered by all the other occasions during which your health was excellent. While there are few other misconceptions, I would like to emphasize that total solar eclipses are very safe. People should be careful only about the partial solar eclipse which happened before and after total solar eclipse. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.